All right, I wanted to start a new series. My most requested videos, my most viewed videos are the how-to videos, the how to throw a flat bag, how to improve your game, how to throw cut shots. I wanted to try something different. I wanted to kind of go back on my coaching background and do some video breakdowns, some video analysis of people's throws. So I reached out to my Kofi members and got a few volunteers, some guinea pigs. And I'm, I'm, I wanted to do a series of videos to, to kind of break down their throws. What I'm asking in return here is for your feedback. You know, if you like the video, if you just like the video, you like the way it is, just give it a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. I know you like it. I get a lot of thumbs up. I know okay, it's working. If you've got specific um, areas that you think I can do differently or do better, I, I love the critiques. I want that constructive criticism. So drop a comment down below, shoot me an email, reach out to my social media, however, just contact me and say, hey, I like this. I don't like that. I want to go ahead and dive in and we'll start this first breakdown. Bear with me on this. This is actually the seventh time I've done this video. I did the first six. I did them different settings, different ways. And at the end, I watched the videos and I just wasn't happy with it. Hopefully the seventh time is the charm and this one will be beneficial. So we're, we're fingers crossed that this is going to work out how I want. So let's go ahead and dive into this, this breakdown. And let's break down Alan's throw. Alan's nice enough to send in some videos of his throw for me to break down. I'm hoping I can break this down to help him as well as help a lot of you guys watching. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with the uh, head on view. The head on view Alan's throw. We're going to go ahead and play that. And you'll see that going here. And initially when I'm looking at this, Alan, honestly, it's a pretty solid throw. Like I don't see anything, ma I don't see any major flaws. I'm looking at your throw, looking at your body. You're not, you don't have a lot of unnecessary mu movement. Um, there's nothing that really seems out of whack. The first thing that really stands out is the back flight, right? You've got that that little bit of a of a tilt, like a cut throw. It's almost like you're coming up to almost like a handshake throw on that. That's something that that you can play with. I think we can fix that. I think we can take that out of there, and I think we can make that uh, flatten that bag out pretty easily for you. Now, the first thing I want to I want to say is when I first saw your throw, I immediately thought of Kyle Malone, ACL Pro Kyle Malone. He's he's a great a player to model your throw after. He has really wonderful technique. I'm gonna pull a side by side up here of Kyle and you throwing. See if you agree with me. Um, but but when I, you know, you kind of have that same that same um, setup, the same stance. You have a very similar throw as far as the the, the dip you have and everything. Everything goes through pretty. But the one thing I do notice on the throw is, and I mentioned it in when I was watching the head on, is the the release. Like when you're throwing your bags and you're coming up. You're stopping here. Your bag is coming out like this with that little bit of that left side tilted down. If you watch Kyle, he's coming up. He's coming flatter. His hand is rotating just ever so slightly more. You're going from here to here. That's all you've got to do. But that little change, that little change is one of the hardest changes to make in cornhole. It's also probably one of the most beneficial because if you can get from here to here, once you get to this point, you can do so much more with that bag. You can work both sides of the board. When you're throwing this way, it's hard. It's, it's near impossible. You go from right to left. So you almost eliminate that whole right side of the board. You can you can only go straight down the middle, left to right. If you can go to here now, all of a sudden you open that right side up, and now you've got a lot more creativity in your shots. A lot of different things you can do. You can be more more of a, a dirty style game. Put blockers over on the right side of the board and still collect them later on. So I think that that change from here to here is worth doing. All right, so I want to go now and I want to look at the side view of your throw. You sent me a side view, Alan, look at that. And the one thing I want to notice, what I want to focus just on is the follow through. After you release the bag, your hand is rotating back, palm down and coming back across your body. And if you go back and look, watch as I play Kyle Malone's throw, he throws his hands flat and he keeps it flat and pulls his hand back. When you're throwing, you're releasing and you're coming over like that, right? Where Kyle Malone is releasing and he's holding his hand flat. And, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to throw, hold that hand flat, and just hold it there for a second or two, and then bring it. And the second thing, Alan, that I, I want you to work on is, is where you're landing your bag. If we go back to the front view of you throwing and watch those four bags they land, they're all landing in different spots. Obviously, that first one lands much shorter, and then it kicks off the right. The next one, you start landing deeper on the board. And I think part of that's a compensation to reduce the kick. You're going to land deeper because that, that fly magic is a stickier bag. And so that slow side is going to grab and kick a little more. So you're landing deeper to take that away. Um, and, and even, but even when those, those other three land deeper, you see they're all hitting different spots of the board. You're not in the same spot. And the big thing about cornhole was consistency. You got to be able to consistently hit your mark. If you can hit the same spot every time, it doesn't matter your bag flight. It doesn't matter your bag. If you know that I throw my bag, my bag is going to go from left to right, and it's going to move two inches, three inches across the board. As long as you hit that same landing spot, you can play the hole every single time. So the drill I have for you 
I just want you to get some painter's tape. Really, you know, nothing fancy. Just get a roll of painter's tape. And, and I prefer painter's tape because it will stay to the board. I don't want to mess up the finish of the boards. But I want you to just take a small piece. It doesn't take, I don't want much. I don't want you to put a big box or a big X on there. I want just a small piece of tape, you know, half inch, one inch, just a small piece. And I want you to put the tape on the board where you want your bags to land. There's some trial and error here for you. The first time you put it down, you may have to, okay, I'm hitting my tape, but I'm missing the hole. Adjust it. Wherever you need to land to put the bags in the hole, I want you to do that. So you put your tape down. So if I'm throwing, like if I'm throwing on on the left side of that board, so if I'm throwing the same side of here and coming this way, I want my bag actually to land a little bit left of the hole. My bag's going to hit and slide up. So my bag's going to come in, land here, and slide up. So I want you to put that tape where it needs to land for you to put in the hole. And I want you, when you're throwing, I want you to focus your eyesight on that tape, not the hole, nothing else. Look at the tape, and I want you to, when you release the bag, watch and make sure you're hitting that piece of tape and see if you can consistently hit it with multiple with multiple throws. So I don't really care as much about if the bag stops short or whatever. You know, I want you to focus on hitting that target every time. And then once you get good at that, you can move the tape around on the board for different shots. If, if I want, if I'm if I'm throwing you know, this way, and I want to throw a right to left cut shot, I don't want to land here. If I land here, my bag's off the board, right? So I need to move my landing spot. So then I would, so when I sometimes I come out and throw, I'll have three or four pieces of tape on the board for the different shot types I might be working on during that practice session. So let's go ahead and move the camera back. I'll put the tape down there and I'll do a few throws to show you what I'm talking about. All right, the tape on the board is my target landing zone for this drill. And it's where my focus is for the entire drill. As I'm looking at the tape, I just want to make sure I can consistently land all four bags on that tape. In theory, if I hit that, the bag should go in the hole. But I'm not worried so much about the bags going in the hole for sure. I just want to make sure I can consistently land in the right spot. Let's go ahead and throw a few bags, see how well I can do here. So that is a case where I missed my landing zone but the bag's still in play. That's the whole idea of the aim small, miss small, right? If you aim for a specific target and you miss it by a little bit, the bag is still in a good position. If I aim for just a general area, a big box or a big location, and I miss, the bag's probably off the board or out of play. So the whole concept is aim for a small, specific target, and your misses don't penalize you as much. And there it is. That's the drill. So there it is for you guys. It's a pretty simple drill, but it's very effective. And if you do implement this into your practice routine, you will become a more consistent player. And for most of us, I'm including myself in that consistency is our number one problem. The number one thing we need to improve on. If we can consistently land the same spot, we, we can become better players, increase our PPR, win more games. The whole idea of this is aim small, you miss small. Like I said, I, I missed on that one bag, but even though I missed because I was aiming for a small target, the miss wasn't punishing. I was able to collect the bag, even though I really wasn't trying. So focus on that. Uh, for you, Alan, focus on the finish, palm up and open as opposed to closed and facing down. Every throw, do that until it becomes natural to you. Come out here, and it doesn't have to be a long practice session, but you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of practicing, you know, once a week, once every other week. Do that until you become confident that you can land that bag where you want to every time and then after that you can start moving the tape around and trying different shots you can put the tape for push shots for cuts for rolls whatever you want to do but in, in in the end as you get more consistent you're going to be better so i think those two things Alan, will make you a better player increase your ppr you'll win more games so i thank you guys so much for support and i thank you for watching